boy. Improper integrals. What makes them improper? The fundamental theorem of calculus. What does it say? It needs to be integrable on a closed interval. So let's go and take a look at this guy. Oh boy. Now this one isn't on a closed interval and why? Because of that guy. Huh. Geez. Infinities are never included in intervals. So that's improper. What else? This guy. Oh boy. What's wrong with him? That's a closed interval. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. And zero is included in this interval. So, what's wrong with that? It's not integrable because there's a gap in that domain. And then, the same over here. Not the gap, no. This one has a bad spot, well, too. Why? Because you can never include infinity in intervals. So, how do we deal with this? We deal with this by making a closed interval and running a limit. So let's go take a look at this guy. Oh boy. I want to replace that infinity with something like t. Oh wait. So 1 to t, 1 over 2x plus 1, all of that to the third dx. But how am I going to get this one to be equivalent to that one? I'm going to run the limit as t goes to infinity after I integrate that guy. And that's how we handle that case. These are the three types. Let's take a look at this one. Uh-huh. Well, since I do have that point of discontinuity, I want to go and I want to break this up into two cases. Ready? 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 I want to break it up into the case where, wait for it, minus two goes to a. da 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 and then this will be one over x to the fourth dx. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna take a look at the limit when a goes to zero from which way? Well, zero. That's the left. So left. And then I wanna add to it this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A to three, one over x to the fourth dx, and then I need to put the limit as a goes to zero this time. It's coming from the right. All right, now that third case, this one double ended. I guess we need to take it on down here. Whoa, shorty, get low, get low. I'm gonna break it up into two cases. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. So then, I wanna go from infinity to s. Yes, of x to the third, e to the minus x to the fourth, dx. And I wanna add that to, I guess we could put uh, the same letter, s minus infinity, and then this is x to the third e to the x to the minus fourth dx, then what? I need to put the limits on there. <laughs> it's like sports chalet. We're gonna take it to the limit. This is where, this is where, whoa, there shouldn't be s's. You should just pick a point in the domain, a nice point. What's a nice point? Maybe zero? Yeah, why not? Zero? Why? Because when you integrate those guys, it's going to go and I'm going to put a zero in there and it's going to kill those guys. So, all right, now that we got that, we're going to sport this into two limits. The limit as S goes to infinity of this guy. Zero, s, x to the three, e to the minus x to the four, dx, 
and then we're going to add that to the limit as t goes to minus infinity. Can it do that? Yeah. So then this is going to be, whoa, t down here, zero up there, x to the third, e to the minus x to the fourth, d, x. Now those are the three cases. All right, if you want to see any of these that worked out, go ahead and click on the annotations now. You have three, nah, make it eight seconds. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.